Now those Skull Eaters, there's not much I can do about uh, trying to fight them. They are not the only enemy here, but they are definitely the tough enemy. And if it escapes, I am all for that. Give me more ability points, because I cannot kill it and I refuse to run. Uh, once again, I'm not running from any battles, uh, but if you do choose to run, you definitely can hear. What the hell? They glitched out on me. Just hit one of the switches. This one. Okay, this one. And I think that moves something up over here. Very nice. Are we going to show off the other enemy that you can see here? We are. These are nut eaters. Now, I believe I did not show these off before. These are very low-level enemies. Uh, however, I just did not encounter them. I should be able to take him out even when Gallop attacks here. But he doesn't get to because Ferris finished it off. So, yeah, these are low-level enemies. But you do get two ability points from it, which is always nice. You know, getting multiple ability points is always what you are looking for. Now we can head up here. All the treasure chests are... are empty. That's no good. That's no good. And as a result of that battle, both Bart and Galif have reached their next job level. Galif is going to remain a summoner for now. I do want to level that up a bit. However, Bart needs to change. We are going to change him over to... A ninja. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before we got ourselves a ninja. Let's go ahead and give him sword because he did level that up again. Very nice ability, that sword. And he's automatically equipped with the moon ring and the ninja knife, which is always nice. And the ninja suit that we picked up along the way. Uh, don't I have anything better? I do. Yeah, let's give him the elf cloak. That's better. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, now, I do believe... Yeah, I didn't realize that I still had the moon ring, and that was actually still going to be better than the ninja knife in terms of actual power. Uh, it, does, it is a little bit faster if I use the ninja knife, but I think I'd rather have the moon ring, which uh, does six more power, or sorry, six more attack, however you want to phrase it. I'm going to leave him in the front row because as far as I can tell, uh, even though the moon ring can damage from the back row, the knife cannot, even if you have the moon ring equipped. Now... Go ahead and head up here and use the switch on the box so we can head further into the dungeon, the tricky, tricky dungeon. Now, if we continue, we can head further on and... Wow, there's a lot of paths here, but you can grab a shuriken out of that chest there. Those squirrels are giving us a ton of ability points, and as a result of that battle against another running Skull Eater, uh, Reyna and Ferris have gotten their next job level, I guess you could say. Uh, as a result, Reyna, ha Reyna has learned Chakra, which restores her HP poison and cures poison and dark. Um, I'm going to leave her with steel for now because I do like stealing from time to time, uh, but that might change later. Uh, but, Ferris, it is time to change. Uh, Ferris, of course, is... Wow. Ferris is doing very well. Ferris is uh, level 5 blue mage, level 3... Or sorry, level 5 black mage, level 3 blue mage. We are now going to switch Ferris over to being a red mage. And, uh, you, yeah, just keep learning on for now. And all that should be good. Now, of course, Ferris isn't going to be able to use some of the higher level uh, black magics. But I don't think we have anything above level 3 just yet, which is how far red will let you go. Yeah, we don't have anything above 3, so red is perfectly fine for now. Now, these treasure chests, they can be empty if you have, uh jailbreaking tendencies if you know what i mean however everybody is still in jail except for us so therefore these chests are 
well, full of items, which is nice. Just racking in the job levels. The ability points are very, very friendly here. As a result, Bart did get his first level of being a ninja, and he's learned Dust Buh, which is pretty much a smoke bomb. I think they're going for Dust Bomb here. Um, it pretty much helps you escape. However, like I have said before, I do not want to escape from battle. I believe that does count as running from battle. Uh, this place is being very nice to me, and usually the Skull Eaters are not attacking me, which is also very, very nice. Now let's head up here and hopefully I can get that last treasure chest. It is a little bit of a journey in order to get it because it is around here. But if I do manage to make it, we can grab ourselves another battle first, actually. Like I was saying, if I can make it down here, I can grab myself a shock whip, another new whip. Well, an upgrade whip. I think it's only the second whip that we've gotten to this point. Is there anything up this way? Oh, wow, just jumped right into the wall. Nicely done, Bart. We can climb up here and get absolutely nowhere. But nicely done anyway. So let's just head back out the way that we came. There's nothing more for us to really do in this cave. In fact, there's not really much point to us being in this cave at all, except for those treasure chests. And of course, all the ability points that I have been getting along the way, which are much appreciated getting getting a lot of job levels out of this. Speaking of which, I've gained another job level. Uh, Bart has gained another job level, I should say, as a ninja, and as a result, he's learned twin. Now, this is a very badly phrased description for the ability, defend, def, fizz, attack two times. Basically, how this works is you cast the ability, and it creates two mirror images of Bart, and it doesn't cost any MP, and those images will absorb a physical attack from an enemy once each so you can absorb a physical attack twice using this ability however i think sword is more important right now and i can't change the job command over to twin otherwise i would I'm not a big fan of throw but the ninjas can definitely throw things we still need to get out of here hopefully I can do it without too much of a hassle anymore, however I do need to reset all the skull switches back the way that they need to be. So that needs to open up, and I believe that one up there should open up the door. Yet another job level, this time it was for Galuf, so he is uh, back on White Mage. How far did he get with uh, Sorcerer? He is now a level 3, uh, sorry, not Sorcerer, Summoner. He is now a level 3 Summoner, so I have switched him over to uh, White Mage again, because, well, he needs to learn how to use Asuna outside of being a white mage. Let's head back out of here. Like I said, I thought that was the right spot. Now we can actually head back this way. I might have shown it a little bit before, but there is a town over yonder. Do we have any new enemies? We do. We have bio soldiers. And we've been back attacked because I no longer have a thief, so they get their first strike in. Uh, first thing we need to do is change everybody's row. Unlike uh, previous games, um, actually I think Final Fantasy 3 kind of worked this way too. You have to do it individually, you can't just have everybody uh, do it all at once. Now you need to start chucking stuff and hitting people and hopefully they die. You did not die. That is no good. Uh, you should probably cure two Bart's there because he got hit pretty damn hard. Um, you should be able to finish that guy off, Rana. You should be able to finish that guy off. Down he goes. Can we show off another summon here? Uh, can we do Remora? Let's see. Let's see if we can do Remora. Flying piranhas. Die. It, it didn't work. It didn't work. Too bad. Go, Moon Ring, and go. I think that was a ninja knife, I think it was called. Either way, down he goes. Yes, you get 336 gil, 160 experience, and 2 ability points. Nobody learns anything, and now we can move on. Like I said, there was a village over here. Considering what the cave is called, I wonder what this village could be called down here. Do we have any more new enemies? I think that is it, but you never know. It 
does look like it's it. So let's head south, and there is the little village. What is it called? It's called Jackal Village, like you might expect. Now, there's not much we can do in this town. The descendants of Ronka live here, apparently, and they don't have anything important to tell us right now. And a cave up north, you say? A cave up north. Good for your pappy. He said something sleeps under Crescent Island. Somebody else gave me that impression as well. Is there anything in the inn? Uh, not really. Not really. Nothing in the pot. Nothing in the pot. In fact, I don't think there's anything in this town in terms of items. There is a pub, though. Easterly Falls. It's huge. You gotta check it out. These are probably things that we can't do just yet uh, because, well, this is pretty much all optional right now. What's dangerous? Caves up north are full of traps left by an ancient people. Okay, so apparently there is a north mountain where all the adventurers are going. Wait patiently on the road with skull swishes and you'll see the truth. So that's what we saw when they all disappeared except for one. We had to hit the one that was remaining and that was the actual one. That's what he, he tells us now. Climb the wall deepest in the cave to get to the outside. There was nothing on the outside. I checked it. But check it many ways. You never know what the ancient people put in them. Damn ancient people and their tricks. Let's play the piano. Am I getting better? Oh. You were, you were close. You were close. That was not bad, Bart, but we are definitely getting better. That is five uh, pianos down, I think. 